This flour mill was 10 years in the gestation of planning uh, and four years in its building. And that might sound like a long time, but a flour mill is a very complicated piece of equipment. It's literally got hundreds and hundreds of motors and every individual piece of equipment within it is reliant upon every other piece of equipment. Every piece has to be supremely reliable, uh, otherwise it brings everything else down. We have now got, within this mill, the very latest in measurement technology using electronics to not only measure how the mill is operating, but to measure the quality of the inputs of the raw material to help us manage uh, the inputs of the mill, the processes within the mill and the outputs from the mill. The silos that are adjacent to this flour mill are the heart of the flour mill because the silos can store enough grain in enough different storages so we can differentiate wheat by variety. There is automated uh, volumetric feeds right across the 52 silos capable of blending and delivering grain uh, in an automated fashion into the mill. And that's uh, a point of difference that no other site in Australia has and, and very few if any in the world has. I like to say that we make flour in the same way that winemakers make wine because we choose wheat varieties from different regions. Lauki makes a very wide variety of, of uh, flours. We mill grains such as wheat, rye, triticale, spelt, organically certified as well, so that, that adds another whole layer of products into our gristing. From any one grist, simultaneously we can take seven different streams of product and send them to individual end product destinations. That's very powerful. Flam mills a hundred years ago were very peaceable things. You could wander through and there's a light rumble and you felt comfortable. A modern flam mill it is uncomfortable, it is stressful. You have to wear earmuffs, you stand inside that flam mill and it is a very unhappy environment for the employee. What we've done is revolutionary. This mill is the first in the world to have designed within it isolation blocks so as to ensure it at several levels noise and vibration cannot escape the mill environment. Here we have a facility where all inspection and testing is performed, uh, right from raw materials into finished baked products out, and that is fully integrated with the flour mill. So much integrated that uh, the flour mill can operate and see live uh, quality data coming through and that is updated based on uh, what the lab is doing offline. What technology gives us now, and I'm told we are the first millers in Australia to employ it and amongst the first in the world, is that with near infrared technology what we can do is test the grain blend as it's about to go into the mill to see if the end product conforms to our expectation. The NIR systems we have here are both offline in the lab and online sitting in the flour mill itself. We bounce light off products flowing through the mill and we correlate the reflectance and transmittance of light against the quality parameters that we're targeting. With this information we can then either manually reconfigure the grist or the blend or we've even got the capability and this is what we truly want, online continuous variation to the components of the grist so that the grist will always be aligned with the end product quality we're looking for. Consumers are demanding value, they are demanding aspects of eating enjoyment, they are demanding food safety, they are demanding sustainability in the environment, they want to see healthy outcomes for their children. What we stand for is to be the very best provider of baking ingredients. So we, we hope to satisfy the most discerning customers and in return we hope to benefit the entire industry. You look at technology and, and uh, it's a multi-edged sword, uh, used well uh, and it will provide every outcome possible because technology of flour milling is all about transforming 
a, an ancient art into a predictable and controllable enterprise that provides the outcomes that people value.